Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you on board this Midland Airways flight to Palma de Mallorca. I'm Captain Mike Foster and with me in the cockpit is First Officer Guy Kowalski. Talk about close shaves. Thank Christ PC Pleasure was turned the other way at the gate licking that businessman's ass or we'd have been lynched. Go, directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect £600 in stolen denied boarding vouchers and filled out for a flight that left with 63 seats. If you don't mind me saying Sandy, you look fairly nervous back there. I wasn't sure if I'd left out a note for the milkman is all. I mean you didn't look your usual brimming with confidence self. Neither would you if you'd just upgraded us in PC's login code. Anyway, we're up now. So let's just relax and enjoy everything this business class service has to offer. I have to say I was surprised when someone as cool as you asked me to come on holidays with them. I hope it isn't because you feel sorry for me, with Jody and that foolish pill business. Come off it. Sure you were never going to kill yourself with iron supplements. No, you, need a holiday. I, need one too. You and me will have a ball. So let me just count this out for you again Sandy. 200, 250, 300, 350. Are you sure this is enough? Probably not. But I'll keep the receipts and you guys can divvy up afterwards. And my guy just wish you luck and say that the team and me think what you're doing is wonderful, and we hope something positive comes of it. What has the world come to, if a brother can't do a brother a favor? What was that? Did you just do what I think you did? Chill, Bill. It's only a little something to blow away the cobwebs. We're on our holidays after all, not some religious retreat. Oh my god, if someone saw us we'd be arrested. Lose our jobs. All sorts. Up here above the clouds where there are no police and the only laws that exist are those of physics. If you had any sense you'd take a blast too. What the hell is going on in here? Um. Er, uh, hi there Claws. Would you believe me if I said, the captain claimed he could fly this thing blindfolded. And you're dressed up as a nurse, I'm guessing, in case there's a crash. And you said she was as thick as two short planks. Right I think someone knows someone an apology. Okay guys, so that's two ruby cabernet, two sauvignon blanc and two champagne each. That should tie you over till breakfast is served. Many thanks Claudine. Actually, it's a little early for me to start drinking. Might I just have some tap water? You're embarrassing me now Alfie. Excuse me but my friend must have put on a pair of his ex's underwear when he was getting dressed in the dark this morning. Don't listen to him. Jody had a tight little waist which I fear is still responsible for restricting my friend's blood flow to the brain. Remind him would you that this is a lad's holiday, which by its very nature requires him to consume alcohol, regardless of the hour. Gosh you are funny. I only wish my boyfriend was as quick-witted and dry. And I only wish my girlfriend was as dreamy as you Claudine. Oh that's right, I don't have one. Watch us Sandy, don't tell me you've lost Woody Allen already. He's in El Bogos getting sick. Two glasses of bubbly have floored him and if he doesn't hurry the fuck up my ass is grass. By the way that gear is fucking tremendous. My. Sinuses are fucked. Oh. My. God. This place is heaven on earth Sandy. No word of a lie. If this resort grabs you Port Hervertidero where we're going will render you breathless. Welcome to your hacienda for the next number of days. What you reckon big boy? Oh. My. Good. Lord. Before you start whining it was the best that I could find for a budget as modest as ours. Now let's stump our stuff in the room and grab a cold one in the sun. Oh my, I don't mean to sound ungrateful but it feels as though we've stumbled onto a scene from the Twilight Zone. Side effects of the anti-jet lag remedy shall we call it, I put in our drinks on the flight when you went to the toilet. Nothing like arriving groggy at your holiday destination. I've never heard of an anti-jet lag remedy before. Well there was another name on the packet I just can't recall now. Got them in a head shop in Hounslow. Trust me Alfie, 
you're just hallucinating. The moment will pass, the sun will come back out and you'll feel the sea water lapping between your toes? But in the meantime let's grab a swift one in this secluded little beach bar, just going to powder my nose, shout as some my tithe as a good lad. Did you not see the sign outside? It says no fucking funny fellas are curly whirlies, and you me old mate is both. <sighs> well I'm not that funny really, and my hair is more frizzy than curly. Maybe it's my hearing, but that he just called Norman Berriesford Tebbit a cunt, Lukey. That's what it sounded like to me. I just need to ply him with a few pints, put him to bed, and then I'll be round. Tell me you're wearing that little red number I sent you at Christmas. Excellent. Right, adios me amor. <coughs> what? The fuck? <laughs>